the city of Los Angeles puts its own uniquely sunny spin on fall. This time of year means the impending conclusion of Laker training camp, final roster cuts, and for some lucky Laker fans, a rare opportunity. On Saturday, a few hundred Laker fans got to watch a Lakers practice, see how Byron Scott runs drills, watch Kobe Bryant's scrimmage. It's more access than your average fan gets to see, and so it was a cool thing for those fans. We're still in our early stages of getting to know each other as a team, so we'll get a pretty good insight on what we do as far as practice is concerned today. Now, I hope you don't have too many kids in here because you might hear some words that you don't want them to hear during practice. Especially with Nick Young, because he messes up a lot. But I'll, I'll come back from time to time to just give you an idea of what we're doing in our drills and in our half-court sets on both ends of the floor. So, again, enjoy today. Thank you guys for being here. Saturday's practice was a good insight to see how we actually work out and train. If I'm up enough here and he still wants to go middle and he spins on me or something, then at least I'm in a position now that I can fly it over the screen. And the whole point of this is to nullify the screen, right? The whole point of this is to nullify the screen. If I was a little kid and I got to check out a practice, I would be going crazy. It would just be something I would dream about and then I'd aspire to be a basketball player when I was older. Go, 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 hit, hit, hit. And I immediately rotate to the shooter and then West are up in the eye. So you, you've got to tell him, go, go, go. Because he, he's going to be reluctant to leave a guy that just stressed the floor like this, all right? All we've seen from Kobe so much in the preseason really has been turnaround jump shots, mid-range game. The question is, is he going to have any of that explosiveness that he had earlier in his career that made him such an exciting player? And in the middle of the scrimmage, Kobe goes up with two hands and finishes off the one-handed jam. You can imagine the reaction from the 300 fans there. They were pretty thrilled. After putting on a show for the fans, the Lakers look to do the same in their next game versus Utah. But much of the focus remains on the all-too-familiar challenge this preseason. It's been a rough training camp and preseason for the Lakers just because there hasn't been the continuity that Byron Scott would like to see as he implements his system, simply because the preseason has been hijacked by injuries. Every day right now in our coaches' meeting, we're saying, okay, who are we going to have today? <laughs> you know, who's going to be able to practice today? So, yeah, it messes up a lot of things, but you can't sit there and cry about it. You just got to keep moving forward. Guys aren't out on the floor that need to be out on the floor. So hopefully we get guys out there, you know, start playing with the unit that we're going to be playing with in the regular season. We'll get caught up on the Emmy Award-winning series Backstage Lakers. We'll have the three most recent episodes back-to-back-to-back to back to back beginning Sunday afternoon at 3.30 p.m. here on Time Warner Cable Sportsnet. Chris? All right, thank you, Jamie. Nick Young is still a few weeks away from his return to the lineup. The cast is off his right hand, but it's still just left-handed layups for Swaggy P. Injured or not, it's still Swaggy Saturday.